Hello. So, I've uh, wanted to show the installation, how it is, with that new down switch. The one I put together on my workbench and then wired it. And so here it is in all its glory. <laughs> so that's where it joins the curve track coming around. This is what was on the on my uh, workbench. Right up to the end of those long rounds there. There's the part I put in. And here's the curve track coming down. So give you a sort of a perspective of the curve coming down. It starts, just starts to slope a little bit. These parts are tricky here where the uh, they join. If you make a, a little bump there, you're in trouble. It'll cause you no end of grief. Here's another join. And then it carries, this is where the, the uh, back, uh, I guess it was a, another pass siding. That's what I, I turned into this up track, or down track now. So I used Lionel's trussel set as far as it would go. And then decided I'd try and make some new trussels that are higher. And I was going to fabricate some, and then I thought, what the heck, just cut these ones in half, and then add supports on the back, and in the middle, and they're good and strong. They don't move. They don't move. They don't move. That's, so this is what it looks like from this side. And these other long pole-like, they're poles, they support this part of the track here. It's a little bit springy, but not really bad. A little spring, I don't think, bothers it at all. The wiring for the switch. So if you've ever wired remote control switches. It's like a three-way switch. Ask your electrician. So the two travelers, which are the outside terminals on this switch, they're the ones that travel between the switch and the push button. The center one Looks like it's a red wire there, I'm not sure. Maybe the yellow. So it's a blue, yellow, red, eh? Okay, so the yellow is the feed that goes back to one side of your transformer. And when you go to your push button, the center terminal on the push button is the other side of your transformer. And then you just connect the, the four leads, the two from the push button and the two from the switch together and You'll have major switch joints. So they go all the way from there, all the way back down, around, down under there, and then under the mess under here. It should be, I should do a better job, but anyway. So then, in the process of building this, they uh, terminated that helicopter on the from its little wire in the ceiling. It fell down into the midst, and I think that was the cause of my crane collapsing in the middle down here. So the crane collapsed down, crashed the airplane, and so I hustled and made sure I got the fire chief in there, or the fire 
workers in there, safety workers in there, and uh, fire chief came in, got two fire extender hoses in there, make sure there's no fire, got an ambulance in there, in case somebody was hurt, and the buses have to wait now. And these are all the spectators, they've all been over here watching. They're inside the, inside Irene's diner having a coffee watching the mess out there. Yeah, I wanted to have an airplane. They were lifting up an airplane. So the station over here could have an airplane like the Greyhound bus station has. So they wanted to match it over here. And the crane collapsed, and a big mess. And helicopter fell down. The helicopter now recovered. So. And the process of working over here, the uh, airplane here fell down. I had to replace it too. I replaced the wire and stringer on it. This is Howard Hughes's con Super Constellations. Beautiful airplane. Beautiful airplane. And in the process of working over here, I knocked down the airplanes I had up there, so they're now down here. So I got a Supermarine Swift and a Hawker Hunter and a Gloucester Gladiator and a, 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 a Vulcan Bomber. So they're all down here waiting to be reinstated in the, somewhere in the upper atmosphere. This is that's the back of the layout. That's a little group of houses that are all around those two switches there. They work at the switches. People there operate the switches and maintain the track in that area. <clears throat> and somebody wanted to ask me how I make my bridges. I think I've gone over it before, but I'll go over it again. I have these special hinges. They step up and away from the track. They just don't hinge. They lift up and away. That way, when you put it back down, you're not hinging your track. You're just... They work really good. There's the join. Do I have them on all the on all my bridges? Bridges are basically made out of pine lumber and spruce and balsa that So this is spruce and balsa, that one. And it's the same hinge. And this one is made out of pine lumber and that bridge covering is an old VHS or VHS tape holder, or probably a cassette holder. You st stood it up on end, and I guess you fasten it either on your wall or somewhere and put all your tape cassettes in there. Anyway, I resurrected it from someone's garbage and makes a nice covering for my bridge. Anyway, I hope that covers some of the stuff. Hope you like it. Thank you. Bye now.